I would be remiss without mentioning the reason we need to stay together. We are still losing precious lives. Lives most recently are from our Cambridge meeting and our Attleboro chapter. And the calls continue to come in and we struggle. We struggle with those calls. And we have Franklin here who helps us immensely with self-care and how we The latest is a couple that planned to be here tonight, my friend Glenn, who I grew up with. Now they're standing vigil as their son's fighting for his life on life support. Just this Saturday, he posted to my Facebook saying, I can't wait for Thursday night. And then I got a call, I think it was Monday, saying um, they had to get on a plane because their son was on life support and it doesn't look good. It's not working on. This world is just not fair. But this is why we need to keep fighting. This is why we need justice and accountability for the billion dollar company that started it all. I personally will never give up until I see that happen, no matter where I am. They're the reason we all met. And I'm glad we did, but we shouldn't have had to. So please keep Glenn and Shelley and all our families who are losing or have lost someone they love in your prayers. We have three families here tonight that have lost two children. And they're walking around with their friends, surviving, smiling, and just being there for each other. And it just warms my heart that they are able to still come out and do that. We're survivors. We're resilient. I love you all for being there for us and for me. And as we say all the time, stay strong. Now. And they say I'll be back in an hour. And then they're found dead in a porta potty. They didn't get that de detox bed because they didn't stay alive. This is unacceptable. And I know that a lot of people don't agree with it. But I've been doing this since 2004. I've been watching my friends die. And we need to try, this is not gonna cure the opioid epidemic, but it's one more tool and we've got to try something. So I beg of you, I beg of you, it may not be your kid, but it's someone's kid. Please advocate for this. I know it's not pretty, I know it's not palatable, 